everybody! Yeah! You guys having a good time? Yeah. yeah! That's right! Once again, let me remind you guys, we have the fundraiser tickets. A uh, dollar for a ticket, you got five dollars for seven tickets, and ten dollars for fifteen tickets. And of course, they happen to, what happened half and half? 50-50, there you go. All right, uh, next one I want to bring the next comedian. Uh, let's see, Chris, they came back. They came in, so. Oh, uh, whatever, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <Play. Yeah. laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give it, let's give it up for Jack. She's a comedian from uh, New York, so you guys are gonna in for a special treat. All the way from here, let's give it up for Jackie. Not me, Jack. Not you, come on. <laughs> Jackie. Uh, I'm Ricky, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Hello, sir. You're judging me a little bit, it's okay. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. Did you eat? Are you drinking? Are you guys drinking? That's my good angle, thank you, sir. This is exciting. You like my family. I'm Jewish, so you guys do look like my family. I don't know why I'm so surprised right now. <laughs> Hi, okay, you guys, is, are you guys uh, family, I'm assuming? Yeah, my dad. Okay, good, because anything else would be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> nice looking dad. Are you guys sisters or friends? Nice. Having friends is nice, right? Yeah. And what are you, just... Tang on. Tang on. <laughs> if anything happens, let me know. Uh, <laughs> Israeli military, I got some moves, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm from Israel actually, uh, born and raised, hope you guys like Jews. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> uh, I grew up in Israel, it's weird growing up in Israel because we're surrounded by Arabs, you know, like I didn't always want to be a stand-up comic. Israel surrounded by Egypt, Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, like everybody wants us dead. So people ask me, hey, Rick, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I was like, I don't know, I'm fucking seven? <laughs> what are my options? <laughs> I work with Israelis. Israelis are not very nice, you know? My Israeli friend told me today, you know, Ricky, I love American girls. They have something in their eyes that Israeli girls just don't have. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's hope, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, fuck off. I just got my green card, which is very exciting for me. Because um, I don't have to pay anybody anymore to be my husband. Thank you. <laughs> I got my green card. I went to the doctor for the first time ever. Uh, my knee hurts. And I couldn't believe I have to put my race in the thing to check my knee. Like, my fucking knee hurts. Why does that have to do with my race? <laughs> Anyway, there's no Jewish in the thing. There's no Jewish, there's Caucasian and the rest, <laughs> okay? And I'm not Caucasian because I know I have so many haters, there's no fucking way. <laughs> I don't have a dagger <laughs> to be like, oh, Caucasian, fuck yeah. <laughs> you know? So I did this, I circled Caucasian and I added with a fat ass. Um, <laughs> you figure it out, doctor. <laughs> My knee's fine, by the way, thanks for asking. Man. So I live in New York, uh, trying to date. Do you guys single people here? Okay. Um, well, let me tell you some stories about being single. You guys are together? How long have you been together? Damn, seven years. That's like 50 years at LA time. That's amazing. <laughs> seven years. Do you guys still like each other? Yes. She said yes. He's still kind of like, <laughs> He's gonna have to um, make it up to her. She's like, uh oh, okay. Got them in trouble, right? Um, so I'm trying to date, but well, here's the thing: like, I don't. I go on dates, but I don't really drink. You know what I'm saying? I go on a date, and guys are like, "What are you drinking?" It's like I don't really drink. And then they get mad because they have to use their personality. <laughs> and I'm saying they're like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! You don't drink?" And I'm like, "No." But then I have to set the mood right back in, you know what I mean? So I always say, don't worry, I'll still sleep with you, sir. <laughs> it's not a problem. I don't drink 
because I'd rather invest my calories in a good slice of cake. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thank you. Want that bitch. <laughs> Thank you. Guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not even that. Like, do you know Shada Jameson's 200 calories? That's a red velvet cake. <laughs> At the end of the night, I'm having at least five shots. That's a thousand calories worth the cake I invested for a guy I don't even know. <laughs> you can have a small dick, and I just got fat. <laughs> That's not a good deal. <laughs> like, buy me a cake, I'll do nasty shit with you. <laughs> uh, saying, guy I'm insisting on getting us drinks, why? You can root me a cake. <laughs> she works every time. Ask Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> hungry all the time. I think about food all the fucking time, man. Anybody else? Like, that's how I find my day. Like, seriously. This bitch came to me one day. LA is the worst, by the way. Like, the worst. Like, doesn't matter how skinny you are, you're still fucking fat. It doesn't matter. This chick came to me today. She's like, oh my god, Ricky, like, I totally forgot to eat today. I'm like, bitch, how do you forget to eat? I go to sleep waiting for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know, it's just like, oh my god, it's like a, uh, she died, um, couldn't handle a conversation, <laughs> fuck that skinny bitch, I love food, man, they get that food all the time, like guys don't even get it, you know what I'm saying, like before our period, they don't get it, they can explain it, you know what happens on my period, before, like two days before my period, I go to Ralph's, okay, by the time I get to the register, food's gone. <laughs> the lady scanning empty bags of chips and cookies. She looks at me and I'm like, don't worry about it. <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> She's like, I get it, I get it. There you go. It's a free cookie bitch. <laughs> it's sad. But food is amazing, isn't it? It really is. I don't know. LA's tough. I feel like LA men are not as good as New York men. I haven't had sex for four months now. Four months. Look at this, I should be having sex, okay? At least once a month, you know what I'm saying? At least something, you know what I'm saying? Like LA men, what the fuck is going on? He's just too picky or something. I, invite this, I live in Park Brea. So I invited this guy over, he works in construction in my building, and I'm like, hey, come over, it's 4 p.m., let's smash. <laughs> He's like, okay. I'm like, fuck yeah. Come over, comes over to take a shower because it works in construction, comes back out with a towel wrapped around his tits. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck's that about? <laughs> like, what is what we do it? I'm like, that's weird, dude. Just anyway, so we, we walk around my apartment trying to get to know each other because we have no idea who this guy is. And and then he goes, you know, sorry Rick, but I didn't shave down there. <laughs> Like, dude, that's my line. Like, <laughs> is the order, like, wrong? Like, what's... Like, New York dudes are the completely opposite. Like, you can have, they're used to dirt, you know what I'm saying? They'll see hair in your vagina, they'll see rat in your vagina, like, I got this bitch. Uh, I see pussy, I'm amazing, I'm not complaining. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is wrong with LA men, you know what I'm saying? I just want a real man. It's not even a feminist thing. I'm not trying to make a point with having hair in my vagina. It's not a point I'm making. I'm just, I want to find a real dude, you know? A dude I can put in the middle of the woods that's going to find food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Find a guava and I'll complain there's herbs all around that shit. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you guys? It's so weird. Like, like, you just don't complain, you know what I'm saying? They should've, we made it so easy for them. They're like, I don't want this now. Well, don't fucking eat it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Tired of shit. <laughs> so this is what I did. I, I bought a dildo, and um, I did. I, I bought it Amazon, because when you go to a store, it doesn't look good, okay? Doesn't matter what kind of dick you want to buy in the shop. <laughs> People are like, why are you buying a small white dick? I'm like, I don't know, sir. <laughs> So, we, so I bought a big black dick because it reminds me of my ex-boyfriend. Um, you know, girls always have to have a story, right? <laughs> anyway, so he's like, like, it's eight inches, and I didn't know it's a whole lot of centimeters. <laughs> I used that shit. That shit hurt my heart. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
I'm like, I can't use this anymore. <laughs> I'm hurt. <laughs> and here's the thing, I can't return a used dick. <laughs> This shit is huge. It has balls. You can, by the way, you can stick it to your bathtub. Like, you can technically ride on that shit. You can do that. But that's false advertisement because that hurts your knees. <laughs> and it shit comes with, like, two loofahs or something. <laughs> Not comfortable. <laughs> it's big black. No, no. It's, um, I put it in my closet. Uh, so if anyone's going through my closet, it looks like I killed a dude and I kept his dick, like that. So. Um, I don't know, I got the light, I guess, if that means anything to you. I, uh, I've met in New York, it's tough, yeah, I, but you know what, I miss New York. I was there last week, first thing I did was going to Harlem, you know, this guy was like, hey, can I jerk off to you? And I was like, holy shit, man. Still got it. <laughs> you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much.